All right, Crush, here is probably the hardest workout of the week coming up on Tuesday. This is Mannion. We're gonna warm up fairly quickly. Two minutes on the bike to kind of get the legs moving a little bit and then some stretching and then a quick review of the workout and then we'll head over to the rig to get the barbell set up. So Mannion is seven rounds, 400 meter run, 29 back squats at 135.95. First, share the barbells, set up, you don't need to take it from the ground. If you really want to take it from the ground, you can, but I, when I've done this in the past, you don't want to. When I've done this in the past, we've done this a few times in, this, in the gym, we've done Mannion a few times, and whenever we've done it, if you come in from the run, and we have like two barbells for the guys set at 135, maybe a barbell for the guys at like 115, a little lighter, and then we have the girl barbells, a couple at 95, maybe one or two at much lighter, like 45 or 55 pounds. Best way to scale this workout, obviously, is drop the weight on the, on the squats. Um, you do not need to do all 29 unbroken, maybe even break into three sets. But if the weight is such where the third, the fourth, the fifth round, you're doing sets of one or two or three, I would definitely consider scaling the weight down in those back squats. And especially um, for any of those that have had back issues, it's hard going way back to a couple weeks ago, we were talking about weight belts. It's kind of hard to maintain that core strength, that core tightness and high volume weighted squats. So between the running and the squats, if you start to feel back issues, I would maybe even just consider coming in and doing like 29 air squats. Or if air squats are too easy, do 39 or 40 air squats, whatever the case is, and go back out for a run. But if you start to feel your back get tight during this one, I would definitely scale the weight. Um, but. We're going to share weight. So in the, in the past, I've come in, and let's say I come in for my third round of the 400 meter run, and somebody's on my bar squatting, I am totally okay waiting 10 or 30 seconds while they finish their set, and then I'll jump in and knock it out. Vice versa, let's say somebody comes in, and I'm, I'm squatting, and I get to rep 14, and I put it up, and they jump in, and then they do 20 reps, therefore I have to rest 45 seconds, however long it takes them to do that. I'm okay with that. And then when they're done, I'll jump in and do the bar, right? Share. It's totally okay to share. Um, for me, this workout in the past has taken me, I think my best time is 34 minutes. But I think, I know, I distinctly remember at least two people off the top of my head the last time I did this that whooped me in this workout um, and got a much faster time. They were able to, the 135 squat for them wasn't as heavy relative to the one max it is for me. We're gonna cap this at 45 minutes. The goal is to get the, the class started no later than 15 minutes in the class. So you have 45 minutes to finish, which for the, the majority of people, 45 minutes will be plenty of time to finish this. There'll be a lot of people 40 and less. There'll be people 30 minutes and less in this workout. There'll be people that come in, especially in that first round, knock out 20 or maybe 29 back squats almost unbroken. Where if you have people in that, like in that, the same kind of people in the, in the class that might do that, you might have a couple extra barbells set up where you, at the first thing you take it over the top, right? Put it over your head and, and squat it out. Um, but there'll definitely be people that'll be sub 30 minutes for this workout, but we're gonna cap it at 45. It's a lot of squats and running. This starts day one of two days in a row where we're gonna really hit the legs pretty hard. So here a week, here a month, um, no extra credit today, none of that. When you're done, maybe stretch a little bit. Manion, it's a tough one. Have a good Tuesday.